For this video, we're going to go into how to set up the Watchman integration. Starting right off, we're going to go into our admin tab, then scroll down here to the integrations. And now we're going to go to our monitoring section and find Watchman monitoring. Now these are the items that we're going to need, the subdomain, API key, and then where the computers that are being monitored will be matched. Now this can be done later, but as a quick note, we can change this to whatever we want. By default, ours was just networking devices, but this is going to be the location that Hudu has. So you have your custom asset layouts within Hudu. Select the one that best matches what the computer location will be. Now we're going to go find these items for Watchmen and show you exactly how to find them. Now we're within our instance in Watchmen and we're going to pull aside that subdomain and our API key. Now, as a quick note, I have this copied in here so we get to the address better, but we have our address right up here and we're only looking for the subdomain, in which case what's going to be between the forward slashes and monitoring client. Do not include, include that period right there. We're just looking for the words themselves. Now we can grab this real quick, copy that, move back in, and here we see our subdomain and paste that in right here. Now we're gonna grab our API key, Going back in here, we're gonna click our settings and API. We're gonna create a new key. In this case, selecting the button here, and we're gonna name it. So, Hudu integration, and make sure that it has full access. That will be the best way of ensuring that everything gets through. I'm gonna hit save, and now we have our key. This is the top one that we're going to use, the most recently created. And so I'm just gonna copy that here, add that into my instance, and save my settings. Now, before we do a sync, please make sure that you have your correct asset layout selected for where your computers will be matched into. The default option will probably just select the top, and in this case, I had to reselect desktop. So be sure that we select that. Now we have that all created, we're gonna test our connection. And you'll see that we do have a successful test connection. Don't try to start a sync before then. If there are other issues, this is our best way of identifying what could cause that. And a failed connection is the best place to start. Going to hit OK. And now we're going to start the sync. We're going to give this a minute to load. So I'm just going to skip forward a bit. And now you can see that we have a couple companies. Selecting match companies. Here we have our options, and you'll notice that we have name and integration and match. On the left side, the integration is what is being pulled from Watchmen, and the right is looking for names that are similar within Hudu. Oftentimes, if it doesn't identify it, it will offer to create a match for you, in which case a new company will be made and the data will be pulled in there. If you do have a company and there seems to be not a suggested lineup, you are able to change the match here and find it. These are case sensitive, so if it's not showing up immediately, you are more than welcome to search and change the match. But this is fine for us, so I'm gonna hit accept for all of these. And now we have our match companies. We're gonna go back to our Watchmen integration page, and we're gonna try another sync. So I'm gonna stop this, restart the sync, and give it another minute to pull in that information. So skipping forward a bit, we now have our desktop located within our Hudu instance. We can go back into the edit settings, and if anything's not working, this is going to be the best place to start. There might be an issue with the subdomain or API key, so be sure to restart from there and try to see why your test connection might be failing. I'm gonna quick click into this so you can see what exactly it looks like, and here we have a successful Watchman integration. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We are more than happy to answer any questions in the comments below or open up a support ticket. Thank you.